Hey guys, this is Brendan back with another video, and today I will be showing you guys replays of the King's Cup tournament that I was just in. So, this tournament was actually, this tournament is actually really cool. If you guys haven't participated in it yet, it's really awesome. When you go into a match, it gives you a random deck, and basically you can play with cards that you don't have yet. So three that I haven't, or two that I haven't had the chance to play with in our real battle yet was the Princess and a Lumberjack. And in this, there's two decks that have that, and I got to use it a lot. And I think I know how to use them pretty well now. So if I get them in the future, I will know how to use them. And it's just a lot better of a tournament than regular ones, in my opinion. So this is, if you guys didn't know, is a special event tournament. And I got 11 wins, and I almost got my 12th, but he made a huge push and took down my tower. I wasn't that upset about it, because 11 wins is a lot, and I wasn't going to ask for any more, really. So, today I'm going to be showing you replays, and at the end of the video, opening this tournament chest. So, let's get right into it. The... First, there's a lot of there's a lot of them here. Um, I'm gonna pick a good one for you guys. Okay, here I think this one's a good one. This is one of my favorite decks in the King's Cup tournament. Actually, it, it is an Expo deck, but it's it's not that bad, really. I mean, it has the princess in it, which is the reason I like it. The only reason I like it, really, but. It's a really good deck combo also. My favorite is the Go Law Go deck. And here, here's a really good push. First, just going to stop a second. Here's a really good push. I zap the minions just in time. And the mini P.E.K.K.A. and the princess completely. Well, almost completely destroy the tower. I let his archers get off a few shots. Which does a decent amount of damage on my left tower. But right now, I am focused on the left tower, since I am a fireball and a zap away from killing the right tower. So, the bowler always refocuses when he shoves a troop back with his ball. So it looks like he's not going to take those archers down, but the tower will end up doing that. I put down Ice Spirit to stop the minions, and I zap them to kill them the rest of the way, so that my expo gets off a bunch of hits. Puts a Valkyrie down to stop the expo. But not before it literally takes his tower down to 766. I stop his Valkyrie because she can do some pretty good damage. And now I'm sitting at 3 Elixir while he's at 7. And it looks like I'm going to take his tower. Yep, I took his tower here with the Princess and Mini P.E.K.K.A. push. Which is really overpowering with this deck. Looks like he's going to put a Witch down on top of my princess yeah so he countered my princess with the witch and my towers are nearly at full health except that one and this is where i started to get a little bit worried because he had the balloon and i wasn't really expecting it very much so when he pushed with the balloon and then raged it he got two shots off my tower i believe and that is a lot of damage sorry about that guys someone is calling me i'll end up calling him back after this but um it looks like the princess is, yeah, she retargets in, takes on the tower. <coughs> Sorry about that coughing, guys. I had something in my throat, but I'm going to stop the balloon and minion push with the zap and the expo. And now his king tower is getting completely knocked all over the place by the mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to do a bowler, mini P.E.K.K.A. and princess push. And I'm going to get one shot by the mini P.E.K.K.A. and one shot by the princess and a bunch by the bowler. And this is the funny part right here. Look at how low it gets. Look at that guys. 221. 221 health. But I'm fine with the win of course. So I'm going to show you guys a couple more replays, so this video isn't too long. Maybe I'll show you two more replays. 
I'll make sure they're different decks so you guys can see a variety of what's in this game. This, not game, but this new event, I guess, special event. So here's my favorite deck of all. I told you guys about this deck, I'm pretty sure, before the video, like, before I started getting into the replays. I said, well, one of the, in one of my videos, at least, I told you guys the Go Law Go was my favorite, my favorite deck by far in this, I guess, special event, King's Cup special event. So... Basically, I will be playing the Go All Go in this replay, and it's basically a mixture between Golems, um, Minion Horde, Fire Spirit, Log, and Elixir Collector. Well, not Fire Spirits, I meant Ice Spirits, but it's a really overpowering deck as you guys watch and see. So, for future videos, I will be... I'll be posting more Clash of Clans videos. I know I've been slacking on Clash of Clans videos, but I've really been addicted to Clash Royale lately. Like, they've been introducing so much new stuff, and it's just really fun to play. So, for future Clash of Clans videos, you guys will be seeing, like, clan wars that we had, um, some better attack strate strategies. Like, I know you guys like that one that I showed. That I showed you guys, and you guys, like, I, I have, I posted it, and it's only been up for, like, two weeks, and already has, like, 140 views, I think, so I know you guys like that one for sure, so I'll be posting more of those for you guys, but right now, I've been stuck on Clash Royale, so I'll try to get over to Clash Clans videos and post some of those. Also, Spartan R205, one of my friends that is a YouTuber, is starting his YouTube channel back up. If you guys haven't seen videos with me and him before, we made videos together and basically just did Clash Royale videos and stuff together. And I helped his channel, I helped him and his channel out. So if you guys would go over to his channel and subscribe or at least like his videos, that'd be greatly appreciated. And, yeah, so, I'll leave a link in the description below for that. And he's going to take my tower with a miner, but at this point, I really don't care because I have a golem going down the right lane by this point. And that musketeer is a little bit misplaced, and it looks like it's going to end up running from the golem, but I don't think she does. I'll put archers in the back to kill the baby dragon and he gets frozen fireball awful log <laughs> and it looks like this is over yep this is over okay the golems ended up killing it. the golemites i should say and there's another successful battle and i'm going to show you guys one more this last one i don't know i'm going to do the there's a freezing hog deck is what they call it, or a lumberjack deck, a lumberjack dark prince deck. I kind of want to show you guys how the lumberjack dark prince deck works. Yeah, I'm going to show you that one, okay. So, this one, basically, this one basically you, um, put the furnace down, use a dark prince and lumberjack to push, and the furnace just, completely destroys the tower eventually it takes a little time yeah but the furnace gets to the furnace's fire spirits get to the tower and end up doing massive damage over time put the spear goblins down to get a little trip damage off which i always do along with some archers i put the lumberjack down to try to take out that expo which i succeed and I end up almost killing that bowler, but he's still alive. The pesky bowler. I hate him so much. He fireballs my minions, which I would say is really worth it. But I had a counter, which he didn't know I had enough elixir. And that zap was worth it also because he got an extra shot off. I laughed because I thought I countered it, but that he zapped and completely just pretty much tanked my tower 
Okay, so he puts a princess down to stop my fire spirits, which is really smart. So I try to put down a lumberjack to counter her because she's gonna end up destroying my furnace push in the long run. And right here, my one of my fire spirits jumps at her at the princess, but she ends up living and gets a shot off of my furnace, which isn't very good. And the expo looks like it's going to go down right here. Yep, it goes down. But not before all my minions and archers die there. So, looks like I'm going to get one more shot off with that fire spear right there. And then the spear goblins to follow up, which does a lot of damage. Like I said, this deck, if used property, prop, properly, I can't talk, guys, um, does massive damage. It's a really OP deck. So I'm going to use the Dark Prince and the Archers to counter his push that he's got going on right now. Well, the Lightning also. So I have the Dark Prince and the Archers on the Expo and his Guards. And I'm going to put my Skeleton Army in front, but it gets zapped. The Spear Goblins get a little bit of chip damage off that tower to make him freak out. And maybe try to counter it like he did. And I get that fire spirit to jump at his tower. Which is good because I have a lightning. Which does around 340 I think. I'm not sure actually. I didn't really check. And I go with a huge push down the left lane. Just to make him freak out a little bit. While I put my spear goblins down the right. Get it down low enough for me to lightning. There we go. Sorry about that text, guys. That was my sister, and... Yeah. I thought I turned off the notifications, but I didn't. So, we're going to open this free chest first. Okay, guys, ready? Here we go. So, here comes the tournament chest and i really hope i get something good out of this at least one epic would be nice it says i'm guaranteed seven rares doesn't guarantee an epic so we'll see what i get i get 1630 gold which is a lot eight musketeers 69 skeletons and a golem that's awesome i love the golem i don't use him right now because i have two other decks working for me and I was just playing around with this deck too I was using it to try to build up a mass um, mass Valkyrie uh, mass, Va mass Valkyrie push with Spartan R205 which by the, by the way I left a link in the description below to his channel if you guys would go check that out that'd be greatly appreciated please subscribe to his channel and help him out and I leave a like subscribe and comment what you'd like to see next in the in the comment section down below and i will see you guys in the next video before well after i upgrade my minion horde all right see you guys